And in Kentucky's size just wore you down the side. No, the points yeah. of the paint were pretty even and boom. The other length, it was very, very problematic. Switching ball screens, uh, you know, my two main guys who uh, have really played well for me all season. John Summers has been one of the most improved players, not only in the SEC, but in the country from a production standpoint. And, um, and Marshall Henderson needs no explanation what he does. And, you know, when, when they go 10 for 31, I think it's a direct correlation with the length that Kentucky has. We just couldn't get clean looks over the top. We've never been very proficient at the rim, but I thought in the first half, our big guys were cleaning some balls up and finishing them out of the basket, and that's what kept us in the game. I think Marshall had three different defenders on the first two possessions. It looked like their strategy was to just keep yeah, rotating. Switch, exactly. They were switching teams. everybody. Not only were they switching the ball screen, but even the, the down screen action, the, the cross screen action, they were just switching big bodies on him. I thought, again, in the first half, we did a better job of, of hitting the slip guy and making some baskets around, uh, some, some scores around the basket. Um, the second half, their, their length really bothered us, and we couldn't stop them. You know, we, we shoot 41% in the first half, but we hold them to around 42. In the second half, they only missed 10 field goals, and a couple of those are right at the bitter end. Just told my team, I don't think I've ever been a part of a game. Now, granted, they weren't missing many, but uh, an Ole Miss Rebel did not grab a defensive rebound until less than two minutes to go in a half. And that was a kid who, uh, Janari Jassar, who I put in at the end, uh, just to try to make sure that we, we, we left here with all our pieces intact for Saturday. Uh, and he was the first Rebel to grab a defensive rebound. It's going to make for a long night. Andy, based on what you'd seen, maybe the scouting of Willie Colley, Stan, what you'd seen and how he played tonight, how different was that? Well, he was outstanding tonight. You know, he obviously has a, a very big reputation coming in. He has shown certainly uh, to be a very capable player. And tonight his length was, was bothersome, six blocks, but he finished everything at the basket. Even when we would come up with somewhat of a stop, he was always there to, to get the loose ball and did a great job of finishing through contact. Any more questions? Thank you.